The Youth Nationals is our highlight event for the youth in the year. It's a chance for the youth to, to compete against people their own age, maybe make them more comfortable. Uh, you'll see kids from 5 to 17 years old. Um, there's two different divisions, of course. There's the junior division, which is 5 to 12, and then once you turn 13, you move up to the senior division. Um, and that's both in the hunt and the show. This year, something that was a little unique about Youth Nationals was our junior bench show, our senior bench show, our junior night hunt, and our senior night hunt were all girls that won. So I thought that was pretty neat. Um, and, and these girls are, are not new to the sport. They both bench show winners have won the Spotlight Series. Uh, Morgan won last year. Um, and, then, and then the girl uh, who won the senior division hunt, Maddie Smith, uh, the dog that she was handling actually won the event last year with a different handler. Trevor will be with this cast. Y'all have a great time. Head out. As a parent, this past Youth Nationals was the, the last one that my son gets to, got to participate in. And um, I can't even remember how many Youth Nationals we've been to over time. I can bring that perspective. I can also bring the perspective of hosting it twice, uh, partnering with another club to do it, and then also my son won it, so I can kind of celebrate that, and then also been the Master of Hounds hunt director type thing. So first and foremost, I can kind of group all of that together. In my opinion, it's the, the best hunt that, uh, besides of Autumn Oaks, it's the best hunt that UKC does. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm excited. She won this last year, but with Drew Eastep. So she's already ready to go. There are two Final Fours. There's the Junior Division Final Four and the Senior Division Final Four. We always put a non-hunting judge on each cast and, uh, and send them out in just a regular cast. They go by the same rules. Water races and field trials are always popular events at uh, youth events just because they pass the time and it's just about competing to the kids. They like to take their dogs out there and, uh, and compete. So the water race, uh, you usually get three or four dogs lined up on the side of the pond and uh, pull your, your, your raccoon skin across the top on a pulley system and they'll, uh, they'll race after it. And the first one to cross over wins the line. The first one to start treeing up the tree on the other side gets the tree points. And it's the same for the field trial. Field trials are how they all started out. It's a simulation of a coon hunt in a way. Um, obviously a way shorter version where you can control the variables, but they are simulations of a coon hunt and it's it's easier for the kids. And the method most people use to train their dogs would be to lay scent tracks. You lay a drag through the woods and end it on a tree and there's a line winner and a tree winner. And the kids have a blast with it. And it's a good way to start out. So each year UKC puts $10,000 in scholarship money up for grabs at Youth Nationals. Um, our junior division win winner will get a $1,000 scholarship. Our senior division winner will get a $3,000 scholarship. And second, third, and fourth in the senior division will get $2,000 scholarship apiece. Each year I have those kids reaching out to me about their scholarships and it's paying for, uh, it's helping a lot of people out with books and boarding and everything else. The best thing about UKC is the atmosphere. They, they build a total different atmosphere at any event, uh, bar none, of all kennel registries. As a principal, I, I every day believe in kids and so it's just a phenomenal program just be a part of it take your kids plan be there and it will it, it will just make a lot of memories